Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Phantom Snapchat hack on your iOS device with the latest version 10.9.1. Recently I installed Snapchat Plus Plus, but this version stopped working so you no longer can sign in at Snapchat services. So what we're doing first is we are deleting the original Snapchat app because this causing problems and we're probably not working and you need to download the snapchat phantom uh, ipa which is linked here i will link all those files in the description below so you can easily find them and you hit download in the browser and the second thing you need to do is download the city impactor so what the city impactor does is it installs the file on your iOS device and sign it with your very own Apple ID. So this installment will last seven days and then you have to redo this process. But I guess it's not a problem because it only lasts about uh, two minutes or so. So after you have installed all those files, we're gonna unset the impactor and then we are starting it. We're moving it in our applications folder and I got the message that I already have installed it. I choose replace because why not? And then we're calling the impactor. We hit open. And now my iPhone is connected as you see here on the left. And all we're doing is we are moving to our Snapchat MKA. Show it in finder. And then you can easily drag and drop the IPA file. So what you need now is your iTunes login. That is, as I said before, that is needed to create a certificate, which will last seven days. And the certificate is used to sign the application. Our city impactor is on Sarik, which is trusted in the community. So the iTunes email login and password won't be sent anywhere else. All right. Another process is running. All right, now I got an error message that I already have an iOS development certificate or a pending certificate request. And that is can easily be resolved in going to the impactor, Xcode and revoke certificates. So you have to enter your email and your password once again. Probably because they don't store it anywhere. So this certificate, the actual certificate has been revoked. And now we can repeat the process. We can go to our downloads folder, the Snapchat Phantom, drop it there. And once again, fill in our email and our password hitting paste and now the snapchat hack is gonna be installed this could take up a little while now we're getting here an error message, but this error message can be ignored. So we're hitting OK. And everything worked fine so far. And now we're seeing our Snapchat application here. And we open, open this up, we get probably an error message. Or oh, we don't get any message. So we have to go to our profiles. And we have to trust the, uh, the developer, which is right now my email address. I hit trust and we go back to our application. 
now it's starting. Thanks for installing. And we're hitting a login. Put in my passport and my username once again. Hitting login. And we're seeing login is working. And there we go. There we have our. You can use everything. We can access our photos. We can upload a photo. We can. Oh, that's. That's the filter button. I actually did not use Phantom before. I only was used to. To. Snapchat plus plus or whatsoever. There we go. Add me on Snapchat if you want to do so. Leave a leave a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.